بسم اللہ خان رہی میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود آ سیریز پرٹیننگ ٹو کرپشن اکاؤنٹیبلٹی انٹیگرٹی اینڈ آنسٹی اینڈ ٹروتھ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا ڈیٹیکشن میکنزمس آف کرپشن اینڈ وی سی ہاؤ دا کارپوریٹ سیکٹر کین بی میڈ مور اکاؤنٹیبل مور ٹرانسپیرنٹ اینڈ دے کین اوائڈ کرپشن ان اے بیٹر وے ناؤ وین وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ ون آف دا موسٹ افیکٹو ٹولس وچ از کالڈ آڈٹس then they can be an internal or an external audit. Now, uh, a formal investigation of an organization or individual's accounts or financial situation is called an audit. So we've talked about audits before also, but in this context, audits can be internal, meaning that they are conducted by the organization itself or external, that there is an independent entity conducting the audit or internal audits review items such as the effectiveness of an organization. So again, the internal audit is not only about the financial audit, but there are so many other aspects of the org- organization, uh, which uh, the uh, firm Uh, what we're looking at or the internal audit department we're looking at. And then again, what we see is, is that uh, we could say that there is a financial audit and then there's a management audit. So there are different types of audits. And again, both are uh, very important in their own contextualization, especially uh, in the fact that um, nowadays uh, companies are using sophisticated uh, methods uh, and also uh, software to try to uh, hide whatever uh, corruption they're doing or lack money they're accumulating. So it's challenging uh, for Uh, the different audit firms even to find out or to trace back track uh, where corruption is basically uh, emanating from. As examples, in South Africa, auditors are legally required to report any suspicious activity. In many countries, the role of an external auditor or public institutions is assigned to specialized governmental body such as Supreme Audit Institution or National Audit Office. Establishment of the uh, Spanish General Comptroller of the State Administration way back in 1874 are all examples of how uh, corruption is being curbed and what are the mechanisms which can be Uh, used for it. The, the institution of the Auditor General of Pakistan through Article 168 of the Constitution and therefore the Auditor General Office is a, a constitutional post. Uh, the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan is the regulatory body for all public and private sector according to Companies Act 2017. The advent of blockchain technology has made audits more effective and another example is white paper produced by uh, one of the Swiss companies again. Uh, so again uh, what we see is that there are uh, different levels and different forms Uh, of uh, having uh, accountability and also ensuring that there is a uh, better audit at the end of the day. Uh, one of the uh, infamous examples or notorious examples is the Siemens Corporation scandal uh, showed that uh, audit systems can also fail. In 2006, a police investigation unfolded that the Siemens Corporation had, u- had used bribes and, uh, and corruption for business gain and therefore in 2008 as a settlement, uh, Siemens basically paid $1.6 billion to American and European authorities as part of the settlement. So, Uh, what we see is that uh, one, uh, there are different mechanisms. Two, there could be internal or external audit. Three, it's extremely important that uh, truth and honesty is being exhibited by uh, all of the employees to ensure that a better environment can uh, emerge. And then uh, if not, then there is always this possibility uh, that it can be done externally. And then there are external audits, uh, which are again, uh, very thorough and very important. Uh, and they form uh, a basis for the board uh, to come up with a different strategy or a different tactics to ensure uh, that the uh, best possible uh, way of doing business is being followed by that organization. And we see some of the best organizations in the world like Siemens, I, they had to pay a 1.6 billion uh, fine as, as a settlement, which again shows uh, how this has permeated uh, not into Pakistan as a third world country, but across the world and across different institutions. And therefore, it's very important that we have the right mechanisms to ensure that uh, this is uh, not spread. Actually, it should be curtail at all levels and at all forms and therefore there should be a genuineness uh, in ensuring uh, that uh, the audit is being done in the best possible way. Thank you so much.